This is the kind of soil I have all over my property. It is just iron ore, gravel, and clay. Kind of a, some of it's red, some of it's yellow. Clay, about a half an inch down. It is hard as a rock. In the summertime, you can put a shovel in the ground or try to stand up on, on the shovel, jump up and down on it like a pogo stick, and you ain't going nowhere. So let me show you the transformation that wood chips have done for my soil. Let's go over and take a look. Now, I know looking at dirt is about the most boring thing in the world. But look what has happened to this. This was just like that over there a few years ago. Now look at it. That is beautiful. Black compost. Beautiful. From wood chips back to Eden. Uh, don't expect it to happen overnight. These wood chips have been in this garden for, I would say, three or four years. I'll try to look back and see exactly when I did it. And um, I planted here for those years, most of them, but I've just been waiting for them, waiting and waiting for them to decompose. And this is the year that they finally did. And even when I bring up clay, if I dig down far enough to get to the clay, it's soft, it's pliable. And what I have done is, uh, and it's bringing in all sorts of earthworms and stuff. What I have done is come through here since they're really not wood chips anymore, it's compost. I came through here with my tiller and I tilled it up as deep as I could go because I did want to bring some of that clay up. I want to I want to break up that hard pan. So I came in here with a tiller and as, as deep as I could go and tilled the compost, not the wood chips. The wood chips are, have turned into compost now. I turned the compost over and mixed it in as best I could, as deep as I could, with the clay that is my soil. And... Um, and this is the first year that I've really done that. I've tilled it before, but I stayed, I stayed shallow because I didn't want to get down to the clay because I had wood chips and not, not compost. Now, um, I mean that's I have, I have never been able to reach down into my soil before. <laughs> this is what has become of my garden spots that I put wood chips on. Now I put heavy heavy wood chips uh, probably in this area here and before I had access to wood chips I started with um, I started with hay but then I came back when, once I started getting some wood chips from a neighbor uh, I started putting wood chips on it because uh, leaves are good hay is good but they can and will blow away wood chips don't blow away they'll wash away if you're on a slope, you put wood chips on it and you get a good rain, those wood chips can find their way down the slope, but they don't blow away. So this is my little garden I've started this year so far. In that spot right there, I have watermelons, uh, cantaloupe, and pumpkins planted. Those are coming up. I'll show you all that later in another video. Just wanted to show you what can happen to your soil. If you've got the worst soil in the world like I do, and here's some that I tilled up on the very edge, on the very edge of my garden. I came through here and tilled it up. Uh, again, I'm, I'm tilling here, and as I start up, my tiller's still running, so I'm throwing up some of this stuff, and that's what it throws up. It's just a, I can't even hardly break it. Hard hard clay 
horrible, horrible stuff. But after years of sitting here with wood chips on top of it, the compost, every time it rains, the compost tea goes down into that clay hard pan. And after years of sitting here like this, it turns into this. So let me show you my, my tilling, uh, turning it over. And, um, but I just wanted to show you the difference. My soil is amazing now. It is beautiful now. And as my stuff starts to come up, I'll be showing you that in other videos. So be sure and watch for that in the next uh, week or two. But the soil now, look at that. You can't buy that. Well, you can, but it costs a heck of a lot of money. Beautiful, beautiful black compost soil from all from wood chips. Again, this was probably 10 inches deep. I mean, when I spread them, I spread them thick. Probably 10 inches deep, that spot over there, and it's not quite as composted as this simply because that spot over there, I planted, I planted. I put the wood chips, shoot, probably 18, 20 inches deep in some places. And it's still, it's, some of it you can see the darker spots. Uh, it wasn't quite as thick there, so it's, it's composted more. But in here, those chips have been there for about two or three years. But they've, they've broken down to, to a real small chip and uh, most of it's composted, but it's just, I can't, I couldn't till, when I till that, I couldn't really get down to the clay to try to, try to bring up that hard pan, break up that hard pan. Uh, I couldn't get down in there on that, uh, that patch there because the chips were so deep, my tiller just wouldn't go deep enough. So I need to do something else. I need to get in there with my ripper. I've got a ripper that'll go about 18 inches down on the back of my tractor and just rip rip some strips and I'll do that after my garden's uh, made try to break up that hard pan and you can see places and I don't know how the camera's picking this up but you can see places where as I till this my uh, my tiller did bring up some of that hard pan some of that uh, clay but it's still not near as, as hard as that on the edge uh, that didn't have the wood chips on it so anyway I'm stepping on where I planted peas I better get out of it um, just wanted to show you that beautiful, beautiful and black, black is beautiful. So if you're putting wood chips on your garden, you may or may not have results the first year or two, but wait and just let it sit. If you had a, a spot where you wanted to plant a garden someday and can let it sit for two or three years, put you some wood chips on it. Just cover it deep, 12 inches deep with wood chips and just let it sit for years and years and this is what you'll end up with if you got a tiller and can turn it over turn the wood chips over to let the ones on top get underneath where they can start composting too go ahead and do that but if you can't just let it sit best advice i could give somebody would be find some hay or wood chips i like wood chips but hay will work pretty well too except hay just had a tendency not to break down. Hay, hay just hay mats up and and it'll break down, but it just I don't know, just it doesn't seem to break down as quick as the wood chips do for me. And I've used both, and I've used leaves, and I've had good success with leaves too. One of the best gardens I ever had. I, I was piling leaves on. So, but this is uh, this is what the wood chips will do for you. I know I've talked a long time. Let me just show you just a quick, uh, quick tilling of it with my tractor. So that's what it'll do. If you spread wood chips, turn the wood chips over every year or so, if you can, if you can't, just let them sit. They'll deteriorate, they'll rot. Uh, but if you can turn them over, turn them over, and then once they get to a, pl a place where, they, where you like them, where it's just beautiful compost. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. See, that's got a little bit of clay in it. That's coming from down low, down in toward the clay level. But that is just gorgeous. 
That is gorgeous. If you can turn it over, turn it over. But wait two or three years. Uh, you don't have to wait. You can plant in it and do like everybody else is doing with the Back to Eden Garden. I'm just saying, if you got terrible soil, don't expect it the first year to just be a miracle and just everything's going to be beautiful from then on. It's going to take several years where you can put your whole finger down in it. <laughs> and uh, I can't even put a screwdriver down in that other soil I got, much less my finger. I'd have to drive it in, drive the screwdriver in with a hammer. That's how horrible my soil is. Again, looking at dirt here, I know it's not exciting, but I had to show you this. Wood chips can transform your soil. It did mine. It just took a while. It takes a while to, to do that. All right. Hope you got something out of this. I've got a bunch of other videos on back to eating gardening from years past when I was just starting this. Uh, so I'll have a playlist that's fixing to pop up. Look at the playlist. Look at some of uh, some more of my videos on that. All right. We're gone.